Greetings, everybody. Uh, Brian Keeler here. I'm going to um, give you a, a short presentation on uh, drawing and painting the figure. Uh, this painting that's uh, on my easel here now, you can uh, come into the painting here. Uh, I'm doing this painting of a, a friend of mine, um, a, a figurative sculpture. He's a very accomplished uh, sculptor who lives uh, in the Hudson Valley. His name is John Bellardo. And um, I think he's uh, just a, a great uh, uh, contemporary figurative sculpture. I put him right up there with the, the tops of the, of the form of Rodin, Michelangelo, and many others of the uh, figurative sculpture uh, genre. And it's uh, especially uh, interesting for me because I'm painting uh, a, a person involved in uh, uh, portraying the human figure. And these um, sculptures that he has are uh, uh, mythological themes, but they're very accomplished. They're uh, multi-figure compositions and one other thing that's interesting about them is that they're um, of different scale, like this figure here is a larger scale, and then these other figures are of a different scale, and, and even an, a fourth one down here of, a, of a, uh, an, another scale too. So it's a very accomplished, uh, I would even say virtuosic uh, 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 skill on, on John's part. And um, so I'm at the drawing stage here. Now I have a photograph of him that I'm working from. And so I'm just completing this, uh, this uh, first stage of the drawing before I go into uh, working with, uh, with color. But uh, if you come over here, I have these uh, preliminary sketches. I've done uh, uh, several. And this one is in Conte Crayon Sepia and uh, showing him with these multiple figure compositions. I think this is a, um, a deposition of Christ, so they're uh, uh, biblical themes, but he says he creates these uh, just kind of out of his head, and this is kind of in a uh, intermediary stage. In other words, it's not uh, completely uh, finished yet, but uh, for me as a painter, I like seeing them in this uh, beginning stage because we can see sort of the uh, very uh, essence of the form. And down here, he's uh, working on one that's uh, going to go in Cooperstown. It's of uh, the uh, god Dionysus, and he's holding up this uh, figure of this uh, female actress. And if you come up here to the top one, this is the same sculpture. You can see the arm cut off. He's going to be holding that uh, figure's uh, face, looking back at him, the one that we were just looking at. Uh, but I'm doing these as a... Um, as a as sketches for a, a book that I'm thinking of doing. I'm doing a, a, a novel. I haven't written a word yet, but uh, uh, there are sketches for this illustrated novel that I'm thinking of doing. So I changed him into uh, Renaissance clothing and, uh, and put him in a Verrocchio studio in, um, in Florence. And if you look at this one here, this is the preliminary sketch for the, for the painting that I'm uh, doing. And it's all worked out in value. I used a slightly different pose. And uh, uh, I have an, another pose in the painting, uh, which I, I'd like a little bit better. It's just a different pose. But coming back to the painting here, there's something interesting that's happening in it. Is this, uh, it's a mild contraposto, which means he's looking one way and the arms and the torso are looking another way. And it was a... Um, a type of pose that was invented in the Renaissance and made famous by Michelangelo. If you think of Michelangelo's David, uh, it's the sort of the epitome or the, or the perfect example of this contraposto uh, pose. So that's part of the reason that I liked it here. But I've just completed the drawing stage and I wanted to share with you this uh, early stage of this painting and then I'll have subsequent uh, videos uh, later on that uh, show it as it develops and uh, as I begin to work with uh, with color and, and value. So uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, early stage of this painting and um, uh, look for others on my YouTube channel as this progresses. <laughs> okay.